Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm John here. It's time to start building our dream. So today we are installing the AFE Superstock air intake system that replaces the filter as well as the elbow, producing more power on the intake side. It also has a 5R high flowing filter. You can get the dry filter or you can get the seven layer oiled filter. I like the 5R, that's why I run in the Dodge and it gives you the most airflow, way more airflow than what Ruby will ever use. On the exhaust side, we are replacing the exhaust with the Flowmaster Outlaw Series short exhaust that dumps out right before the axle. And so it's gonna get a little bit louder inside of ruby and outside i don't know if youtube's going to do it justice but roll the footage and let's get this adventure started We've put 27,000 miles on Ruby. We've traveled all across Southeast, Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas, Kentucky, and you know, it's been a great adventure. Hope you guys come along, join us on this ride. We're gonna continue to make videos of how-to and installation videos. I would highly encourage you to consider subscribing because the more subscribers we get, it motivates me to deliver you guys better content. If you have questions about anything you see in today's episode or previous episodes, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I answer those personally from me to you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get this project started. So we'll move Flowmaster exhaust to the side for now. And you guys, once again, as always, get to see this as I see it. And so we're just gonna take our trusty buck knife here and we're gonna slice this open. Now what comes in the box here is pretty amazing. So this is the third AFE air intake I've used in the past. I've had it on my Ford Excursion as well as my Dodge Ram 3500 currently. And AFE is just a phenomenal product. I think it increases the horsepower. It also completely changes the way your vehicle sounds. And that is always due to what I prefer, the deep 5R filter and their pleated design. So we'll open that up in a little bit. So you get the filter in the box. You get the power intake elbow in the box. You get your hardware kit as well as a couple of silicone boots. And this is what's gonna seal it up so you don't get any dirt particles inside of your engine. And that's it. You get a little bit of instructions as well as AFE sticker. So the number one reason I went with the AFE system like I did is this right here, the 5R filter. Filter alone, anywhere from $70 to $90 for this filter. So that's perfect because the AV snorkel, I've got to retain the stock air box. What this does it is it maximizes the airflow in the stock air box. So whether you got a snorkel or you plan to ever install a snorkel, this is probably the best match you can get on the market. Other gimmicks sold by other companies that I don't trust, I don't necessarily want to buy that. So I do trust AV for their snorkel, ARB for their good products. And when it comes to air intakes, I trust no other than AFE. And no, I'm not sponsored. I just love their product. So with that being said, let's pop the hood here and we'll start on the dirty side. Now, I apologize up front. My Jeep is not the cleanest. We just got back from Ocala. It may be just like him. Hold on. And so it's time for a filter change for sure. All right, so we'll leave those in. We're gonna take, pull our boot off here. Bam, now we're down to our air filter. Set the top cover to the side. I'm scared, guys. All right, so with the filter, we did get some dirt and dust in there. So I'll let y'all look down in side we're going to take a vacuum real quick vacuum that out and then we'll continue so we are going to just take our horrible shot back here <laughs> up. 
now that we've got that cleaned out we're going to take our pre-oiled filter here and we're going to drop that in exactly how the stock air box is so the angle goes down here towards the side and you're going to make sure that silicone seal is neatly seated in all right i can already smell the horsepower coming all right while we've got that done we're going to take and we're going to pull apart the top all right i know there's a helicopter coming by so the first thing we're going to do we're going to take we're going to insert this fitting right here and this fitting is going to match this breather so you don't want to over tighten this so we're just using a crescent wrench here adjustable wrench we're just going to slowly screw it in until it stops because we are in plastic and it stopped perfect all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull these out and replace them right there so the stock air box set it down for now we're going to pull this elbow off so to pull the intake elbow here we're just going to take loosen our clamp all right we're going to unplug air temperature sensor here slide that out and the next thing we're going to do pull this breather all right so if you notice i pushed in push in there and then pulled so that's loose we're going nice and easy all right there are bolts where we can find them take off our intake tube all right we'll need to pop these looks like once we get it up enough we can take a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it the rest of the way don't want to break anything there's one so we got the first one out we got the second one loose if you go too fast you can break these so you just want to work it a little bit without damaging the wires there we go there's those two and they're mangled so that is disconnected there's one more right here and I don't think we're going to need that but we'll still take some care in removing it loosen it with a body tool already all right our intake is free now all right guys to adjust our remove our air temperature sensor luckily this one has green paint facing up so we're going to keep the same orientation when we install it in the new one all right guys so we transferred over our grommets we've got our sensor reinstalled and we've got our tube installed so we're ready to put this back in the jeep two silicone boots put on each end with band clamps we've got our pipe in we've got our sensor in and we transferred over our two grommets so now we can start taking marrying everything up so there's that in there we're going to take the air filter housing put that on we're going to go ahead take our eight millimeter carefully zip that down on the milwaukee it's cool because uh, you can just do snug right there Make sure we did not over tighten them. That one's good. That one there needs a little more love. That one's good. And finally, the one that's hidden back here. Give that one a little love. Make sure it's nice and loose. You want to get the boot on. Now we can begin to tighten. We're at least tighten our two ends. Tighten here. It's got a little bulge to it. It's 
not pulling off. That's good. I'm going to take this, reconnect it, put that in. That's on, so that's good. Plastic, so you don't want to overdo it. We can go ahead and put these two back in. Get those started. Those are 10 millimeter. Those we can crank down. Our boot up here looks nice and pretty. It does. You don't want the metal against the silicone because you don't want any vibration cutting your boot. That's good. Got our throttle body now. Throttle body. Get the throttle body tight. Now it's aluminum, so and this is a steel clamp, so you don't want to overdo it. You just want it snug. Check this one. Make sure we're happy with that. That one feels a little tight. I think we're okay. That one's good. That one's good. Airbox is good. This is good. All right. Now let's tighten back down the middle. that by hand the rest of the way. These are really just a couple body clips. Some dead bug in there, get rid of that. Alright. Now then I'm going to take our wire here. We've got that in. It's all oriented the right way. All right. Let's go make sure we don't have any check engine lights. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a cold start on Ruby just so you hear what the factory exhaust and what the AFE intake sounds like. It's not loud at all. We're gonna take her for a little drive real quick. Uh, she's clear. I'm gonna go a little space. First. Okay guys, we're gonna unbox the exhaust next. Voila. All right. Inside the box. All right. First item out are clamps from Flowmaster and some decals. And then this right here. That's it. Clean that and this lazy S pipe. That'll be our full system. So we'll get everything taken out from the old system and then we'll start putting in the new system. All right guys, you're probably not gonna be able to see this very well, but from here, we're gonna remove this bolt. That's the coupling we need. And it's a little bit dirty from our last adventure. All right. Pop it out. We gotta pull this bracket off so we can pull the whole exhaust back this way. And then we gotta fish all this out. See, here's the back. The back's got to come out. And as you can see here, it's dented. So you're really, even though it's a two and a half inch exhaust, you're really only getting about an inch and a half, two inches of 
movement through there. Man, it was a lot cleaner last time I was under here. Guys, it's late. I just finished uh, the install. I'm kinda scared. It's about to get real. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you follow us on TikTok, share it with a friend, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and keep coming back for more. Once again, you guys get to come along for the ride, watch me build my dreams. But the true purpose of this channel is to motivate, inspire, and help you guys get out there and start building your dreams. Ooh, doggy. Ruby got new shoes. Finally ordered some wheels to go with the 37s, and they don't rub, they don't scrub. I'm not gonna take it hardcore off-roading, but guys, that, my friends, is a good-looking Jeep. Oh yeah, yep. Damn. Damn, I got a good-looking Jeep. I love that thing. Wicked, that's a sick Jeep.